in this survey, it's it's great. The title is What Are Millennials Top Beauty Regrets? I love it. <laughs> so I guess um, this company, Laser Away, surveyed over a thousand millennials on beauty practices they followed when they were younger that they might regret now. They focused on five key areas, um, facial skincare, mm -hmm. hair and makeup, health and nutrition, body skincare, oh. and dental care. Oh, that's a lot. Yep. And so some of the general points they found was 85% of millennials are more cautious about the beauty practices they follow now than mm. the ones they followed when they were younger. I can agree with that. I think that's fair. Yep. 49% of millennials regret past beauty trends that they followed when they were younger. Mm. I don't know if I regret anything. It's more, it's kind of like, haha, -ha, yeah. so young and so cute. Yes, exactly. So I don't, yeah, I agree. I don't know if I regret, but some of the trends were hilarious. Yep. 43% of millennials shared that past beauty practices negatively impacted their skin. I thought that one was tragic. Mm. And I felt like maybe this is the group of acne people because that that I felt it, I feel that. I yeah. feel like early yeah. 2000s the theme is to wash the crap out yep. of your face. <laughs> wash and scrub and dry out the crap out of your face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 57% of millennials said they spend more money on their beauty and health now than when they were younger. That makes sense. Yeah, and I think that's very true. All right. And for the top five beauty regrets, the five are, one, not investing in quality skincare. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Two, eating too much junk food. I find that to be a little surprising. <laughs> yeah. Three, not getting enough sleep. Four, not drinking enough water. Five, not getting enough exercise. Oh, so it's all like lifestyle based. So when I read this, I was just like, well, that's just life. Like, I feel that now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really make me feel like I'm, it's something I didn't pass. It's like I still struggle with some of this stuff. So I when I saw this list, my first thought was actually I am the opposite way. Uh -huh. I feel like I didn't eat enough junk food yeah, in my youth when I could afford there to. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I, think, I regret not capitalizing yeah. on that period of my life. Dude, my metabolism is never going to be the same. Yeah. And I like legit, I, um, I think a while ago, I went crazy on a bag of like Five Guys fries. <laughs> and it's just like, I feel like <laughs> it's going to sound very... What, when you get to a certain age and you really go crazy on junk food, you don't feel good the mm -hmm. next day. Especially yeah. when you typically eat pretty decent. Yeah. That's not a problem in my <laughs> early 20s. Yep. No regrets. No yeah. regrets. Yeah. <laughs> so, and yeah. I think the other thing, too, is like even things like not getting enough sleep. Mm -hmm. I feel like back then you're just like, I was good to go. I don't think I really worried yeah. too much about that. Yeah, agreed. So you're still you can recover. It's all good. Yeah. I will say that not exercising enough is probably mm. one of mine, but the regret level is not necessarily like, oh, I feel like I'm out of shape now or I'm paying for that. It's like, I think I missed the window to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Gloria? You are hot. What are you saying? <laughs> I feel like the amount of work it takes to maintain status quo now is very different than before. Whereas before, do my lifestyle in my like in college yeah, and early true. 20s, like yeah, thinking back, different. I'm like, oh! <laughs> and I was still fine. Yeah. Imagine if I actually worked hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, agreed. All right. And then going into categories. Mm, I um, love this one. <laughs> all right. I will skim through a few of these. We won't go mm. through all of it. Let's focus on skincare first. So top skincare regrets. Number one, not investing in quality skincare. Mm -hmm. Number two, which I totally agree because I felt like, I, I don't know if you did this, Gore, just like falling more into the trend than actually looking for products. Mm -hmm. So like if it's like a clay mask, I just bought like whatever was cheap, uh -huh. like whatever, but it's a clay mask. Yeah. I didn't even think about like, I don't know, purchasing something super fancy or anything. I have an older sister, so I stole. Uh, very good. <laughs> Economical. Very good. Whatever she's using, she used to, like, She, I think she will know. Especially, like, she hates it with, she thinks I'm, like, super dirty. Yeah. You know, like, I think siblings all go through a phase where you think your sibling's germy. Yeah. And if she has, like, pump, 
yeah. stuff. She's kind of like, ugh, whatever. Yeah. If she has a jar and she thinks I dip my hand in it, she's like, I will murder you. Like, That's yeah. when you like smooth it over. You're just like, yeah. And then the more like it turns into a whole like bonsai project where you're just like loving it just right. You still get caught. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number two, skipping face moisturizer. I was a big culprit of this. Number, number three, three, neglecting, neglecting lip, lip care, care, which I, I, I really like. It's, it's like something I never thought about, about but yeah, yeah. I lips do age. Mm-hmm. They their structure changes. They get wrinkles. They're actually very difficult. So I'm mm-hmm. like, that's fair. Yeah, especially SPF lip. Yes, I never thought about even yeah. trying to pick up an SPF lip. And thinking back, like when you're younger, you're spending even more time out in the yep. sun. And I, I was someone that I don't know. I I'm someone that after I grow older, I really hate the classic chapstick formula. Yep. But as a kid, that's like all you have. Like mm-hmm. like the lips. Is it called Smuckers or whatever? That like fruity lip balm. Carmex? No, it's like this really jank packaging. Sorry. It might be Smuckers. Yeah, it's like super childish. And this is is very... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah, Smuckers. Lip lip smacker. Yeah, lip smacker. That was my jam (laughs) because it tasted good, not because it really hydrated my lips. (laughs) Yep, that's so true. And it was just like the fun thing to carry around. Because yeah. sometimes they would make them like little keychains and stuff, right? Yeah, or you buy a pack with your friend and mm-hmm. you split the fa- flavors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Age revealing. <laughs> Number four, over plucking eyebrows. Yes, so relatable. <laughs> Super relatable. I have definitely done this. <laughs> me too. Me too. And I still remember my mom's reaction when she saw me after I plucked my eyebrows. She's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. did you do that? <laughs> yeah, my my mom is blessed in the eyebrow department. Mm-hmm. Like she naturally has like a good eyebrow shape and really lush eyebrows. Mm-hmm. I did not get the shape. I only got the hair, the darkness. Mm-hmm. And my sister got her whole eyebrow. And yeah, in the for those of you unfamiliar, back in the nineties and the early two thousands, thin eyebrows were in. They might have tried to bring that back recently yeah but i don't think that really caught on caught on yeah if you want a reference go look at the movie fifth uh element and mila <laughs> jovovich like, like that pencil eyebrow yeah. look was so in so all day you just see girls like just like yep yeah yep. <laughs> number five skipping eye cream which i'm like hmm i still I'm- skip eye cream <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually well well, for me, I didn't skip it when I could use retinoids and I did our double play, but I'm just saying. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I didn't give this category a thought. And to be honest, I don't, I think for us, it's still a, a category that's more of a secondary than mm-hmm. a must in your routine. For sure. If you have one that you, you love, mm-hmm. um, by all means, and I think... I'm someone that never really got it. My eye area, as of now, isn't significantly drier than the rest of my face. I am very cognizant of when I'm moisturizing or using any serums, I just bring up to the eye area. And, and yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to run through a couple more just to, yeah, there's a few more that I think are pretty good. So top hair and makeup regrets. Um... Things like overwashing hair, not using hair heat protectant, bleaching hair, mm. not removing makeup before bed. Oh, that was so in. That <laughs> I many a times in college <laughs> could not bother. And then in terms of top body care regrets, things like skipping sunscreen, mm-hmm. skipping body moisturizer, neglecting the neck and chest from sun care. I think that's actually a really good one. Yes. Please don't do that. Yeah. And uh, not protecting hands from the sun. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so, yeah, I, if, if you guys, guys are curious, curious, we'll leave the link in the description. It's a generally very fun um, survey, but it really hits hits me in the feels very of relatable. nostalgia and regret, I guess. Oh, yes, I too. <laughs> oh, I am still so guilty of skipping body moisturizer more often than I, than I, I saw a meme that I thought was so wonderful. It's like, basically, it's like, it's like me putting on my fifth um, product on my face and the face is like beautiful and gorgeous. And then and then shows like your elbow and then it's like basically this like decrepit, 
<laughs> this decrepit potato face. Like, it's like really dry. I'm like, it's, <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. Oh, no. Which I think my elbow is also like that right now. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, all right. That's it for the news. Oh, we should move one. on. 